welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Uline and I'm a knitter from Norway and my go-to project my first ever challenging knit one of my first YouTube videos and um, just one of my favorite knits overall is the zipper sweater I've made quite a few I love them I keep going back to them I've made a few YouTube videos about them and I am finally going to be knitting myself one. As I said, one of my first YouTube videos was about the zipper sweater and that was the first zipper sweater I made myself. But it does show that it is one of my first ever zipper sweaters. The fit of it isn't great. The gauge maybe isn't quite perfect and the zipper installation isn't 100%. So Finally, after almost two years of wanting another one for myself, I am going to cast on another one for myself and I thought it would be fun to make a video of me making another one for myself. This time I'm going to be making the zipper sweater light and I thought it would be fun to make this video both to see how much progress I've made when it comes to knitting and hopefully this zipper sweater will be a bit better fitting and I'll hopefully have learned better how to install zippers and just everything I struggled with the first time around will be easier this time but also just to see how just everything has changed since the first time I made the video and it would be really cool to have these two videos to look back on with two years. Uh, difference almost so I really wanted to make a video of me knitting my zipper sweater light as well and for the zipper sweater light I am going to be using Drops Daisy which is a merino yarn 100% merino non superwash and I have heard that Petite Knit has said that she's a bit unsure about the zipper sweater using merino wool because the zipper sweater is a quite heavy sweater and merino wool is a quite like soft yarn it doesn't really hold um, as much weight as like regular 100% wool does so I'm also excited to see how well this holds up I have knit a bit with um, drop stacy this was the first drop stacy I ever got but then just time has passed and I haven't had the time to cast this on so I have been able to try drop stacy and I really enjoyed it, but I am eager and excited and nervous to see how it holds up with a more weighty garment. But I think it's going to work out. If I didn't think it was going to work out, I wouldn't have done it. But I really think this is going to be great. And it's also going to be a really comfortable sweater if I make it in drop stasis. I'm really excited about this. And hopefully this will turn into a zipper sweater that I get a bit more use out of than I do my old zipper sweater. And then I also really want to go back to my old zipper sweater and fix the zipper on that. And probably fix the hem on my old zipper sweater. Probably make that into a split hem. I think I'll get more use out of it that way. So maybe my old zipper sweater will pop in for a little cameo as well. But... I'm really excited to be making my second zipper sweater for myself and I thought I'd take you guys along with me but now I'm going to go and actually cast this guy on.
and I just wanted to do a super quick update on the zipper sweater. As you have seen, I have just yesterday, I think, so I finished sewing in the zipper. Here it is, the lighting is a bit making it a bit hard to see, but here is the zipper. I'm really happy with the color match of the zipper and the yarn. That's awesome and I have uh, done zipper sweaters many times before but this is my second time matching the zipper and the sweater and I love that for the others I've used the petite knit zipper and that's metal here and I can now say that I way prefer this I think it gives a much better look I prefer it anyways um, I did sew in the zipper, it was just as nerve-wracking as all the other times. I think also partly because this is my first time doing it in merino wool and I think in one of Petite Knit's posts I read that she is not certain merino wool can handle all the weight and uh, pulling a zipper may give so I was really nervous but I think I did okay. I am not 100% happy with the neck, I'll try to show you because it's like it's not way off, but it's like half a centimeter off here. This is just just a tiny, tiny bit further down than here. It's so hard to see. I don't know if you've seen in the other videos, but you can like kind of see it that it's just a tiny bit off. But I chose to not go back because I don't know if I could have done it any better. I have tried to put those pins in that the video but then it links to it tells you to do when sewing in the zipper but those just get in my way so I just do it while holding the zipper probably not the best way of doing it but the least annoying way for me um, and the zipper is in it looks a bit bunched up right here right now but I think when it washes and wears that this is going to be a good zipper installment hopefully and it makes the sweater look so much more done I really feel like we're almost in the home stretch now and after doing that I knit that skein that you use I started a new skein to do these on the inside here and then I just finished that skein up on the body so the body is also pretty long now and what I am going to do now is to do the sleeves so I can wrap this whole thing up with finishing the body that is the best way to finish the project I think to get the sleeves out of the way and just calmly finish with doing a lot of stuck net in the round but this is my super sweater so far I also just got to try it on and I love the fit of this I am so eager to be able to wear this and also I don't know if you can tell but it's also pretty similar in color to the wall color we have and I think we painted our walls green at about the same time I got this yarn last year so that's also a really fun coincidence and I really like this shade of green and I'm so excited to finally be able to wear this now. So now I'm just going to go back to do knitting.
Hi! As you can probably tell, this is going to be my final update. I have finished my zipper sweater from the point where the zipper was sewn in. It all went really quickly. It usually does. The biggest hurdle, once I'm done with the biggest hurdle, and also I have done the sleeves. It's just the best part that's left, the body. And also, I don't knit the body super long, if you can tell. Like, it's not that many centimeters for me to knit the body. So that just flew by and all of a sudden I had a finished sweater. Since this was also a non-super wash yarn, I had spit spliced almost all of the ends. So I didn't have that many ends to weave in. I had a couple around here and also under here. So I think I maybe had like five or six ends to weave in. So that also went really quickly. And then I decided to wash it in the washing machine because I have a swatch behind here, the, this red one, that is in Daisy. I made that just to wash it in the washing machine on the regular wool program to see if that would felt. And it didn't felt at all. I'll get it just to show. It didn't felt at all. None of it. So this is it. It still stretches really well. You can see all of the stitches still look the same. So I thought, okay. I'm good. I was still a bit worried because this is a big project. It's taking me a lot of time, but I decided I would be fine. I prefer to wash my knits in the washing machine because now the first time I'm washing it, it's not like it's dirty, but my knits do get dirty. So I want to find a way to wash them where they actually get clean. Um, so I decided to wash it in the washing machine and I looked at it quite frequently and one of the times I looked at it, it did seem like the ribbing did start to look a bit felted. So I pulled it out and I'm very glad I did because this is not, I wouldn't call this felted now, but it's definitely in the like pre-stages to being felted. It is quite hard to show, but if you look at the fabric, I don't know if you can tell, but the stitches, the yarn has just got a bit of a felted quality to it. Um, I'll try to show down here. It definitely does not stretch as well, but it still stretches. So I don't know if you can tell. I can tell in person that I don't know. I have some videos of it done before I washed it. I don't know if you can see the difference of like the stitch definition from that to now. There is definitely a big difference. I can see it very clearly in real life. It is a bit harder to capture on camera, but it did definitely start to felt. I'm just really glad I caught it before it actually felt it because it did not shrink in size at all. It still fits, all of it fits. This part even grew, the neck part, which is great because that's always a bit tight. I still prefer to wear it like this. I did wish the sleeves would grow a bit, which they kind of didn't, but they kind of did. Um, before washing, I could like stretch them to sit about here. Now, if I kind of pull on it a bit, it sits here. I had wished it would grow to like here, but considering that this almost felt it, I'm just really pleased that it didn't shrink at all and in a lot of aspects it kind of grew so I caught it at the right moment just before it started to actually felt. My cat's also a busy body lately, she's definitely not saying that it's starting to get colder outside and she does not like the cold so now she just wants to cozy up inside and wants all the attention now that she can't be outside as much. Um, but I am very happy about this. I am I was definitely really mad at myself when I got it out of the washing machine and I saw it had begun to felt because I was really nervous before I decided to wash it. So I just thought, why didn't you just hand wash it? It wouldn't have been that hard. So I've been really mad at myself. I've been disappointed. I've been kind of sad, but I've decided to put that behind me. This was all my, it's meant to be more of a outside sweater. I use my zipper, the zipper sweater I already have. I use that almost exclusively outdoors. This is probably going to be used a bit more inside and at different things, but to me, they are primarily like hiking, going outside, cold weather sweaters. And considering that it's not 
that bad that it kind of felt it. It just makes it a bit warmer. It makes it a bit harder for the wind to get through. So all in all, I think it worked out for me, but I'm definitely never washing Daisy in the washing machine again. This is my lesson I've learned, not going to do that again. Um, but yeah, here she is, my super sweater in Daisy. And hopefully I'll remember to never wash it in the washing machine again because I don't want this to felt anymore. I haven't, uh, I haven't checked how many grams I used, but I think I used around 450 grams of the drop Daisy. I'll measure and put it all in the description, like exactly how many grams of yarn I used. I definitely used a bit less than what the pattern states, but they say it's a bit longer than Pergunt, and I think I'm a bit of a tighter knitter, so... And I also have less length in the body, because I wanted it to be a bit shorter, so I used a bit less yarn. But I'll put all of that exactly how much I used in the description. But that's it for my super sweater. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. That means the world to me. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Bye!